commandments, you're going to start loving your brother on another level. You can never do it without the commandments. There's no way you can love somebody without the commandments. Right. Give me that in 1 John. This is love. Give me the love. Give me love in 1 John. This is what. This is the way, brother. The way is keeping God's commandments. Now I'm gonna ask you something. What commandments do you know about that you that you are, are struggling with, or you like? I don't know. Well. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys are always giving truth. I'm not saying anything you guys are saying is wrong. But as a people, because of things that have happened to us, the brainwashing and the manipulation, this we're talking about generational things. Now, it's so hard to, to tell the people, this is what you must do. This is how you must do it. And especially our people, we've been used to that last, that whip, that commandment. So, we're right. saying, so when we see us going into each other, we're going to resist. We're going to fight against each other because we don't... We, well, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to ask you something. Show us the way. Well, I'm going to show you something. Now, I'm going to show how you how you can do this. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Yeah, exactly. Now, Solomon. No. Solomon wrote. Did you know that? Ecclesiastes. He did write Solomon. No, Solomon wrote that. The scriptures say he's a black man. Yeah, but, but wait, but wait, we don't, we don't, we're not Let's talking that. that that brainwashing that's been done to generations. Exactly, but, but, but slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So you said, you said that, that you want to know the way. Now, you want to be able to see the way. Now, how you can see the way is if you start keeping God's commandments and congregating, then you will know how to really keep the way. All but if right. you keep resisting against not congregating with your brothers who's really keeping the commandments, so you will never know that. So what you right. saying? What you saying? We should, we should, we should uh, 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 go to your assembly? You don't necessarily have to go to our assembly. I mean, I mean, you don't necessarily have to go to ours. But go, but the scriptures say, but the scriptures say, try the spirit. So in, in your congregation that you're in right now, in the Christianity, are they keeping God's laws? Impartially. Right. Now, wait, 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 now I'm ask now I'm ask you something. Of the, of, the, of the paganism that has been engrifted to the word of God, the word of God is still true. Yes, it's been manipulated and all that good stuff, but the word of God. Is no, still the word true. this has not been manipulated. Yeah, yeah, it has been manipulated in, in reference to us. To us okay, to I, I see what you're saying. See I see what you're saying. Our savior is a Caucasian man with blue eyes. I got you. From a land of dark skin, the people. I got you. I got you. The word of God generation. Okay, okay. So, I understand. What I'm not saying Well, watch this. You said that I asked you a question about about the way. Now, if you know someone's doing something partiality and you want to live life seriously and follow the Lord, then what's the reason behind following somebody partiality? Is it a sense of of uh, of comfort? For yourself, I'm asking you that it's not a sense of comfort. So how how will you be challenged to, to really be keeping God's commandments if they're doing a personality? It's a sense of truth. I go to uh, uh, I've been I was raised apostolic. I I, I was uh, uh, went to a denomination. I've been a Baptist. I've yeah. been a church guy. I've been all that. But there's a, there's a, there's a spirit of truth that that dwells amongst God's people, whether they are Hebrew Israelites or whether they are confessed Catholics or whether they are. God has a people in every remnant. He well, has a people that are called to him. Yeah, yeah, they may nope. not be Hebrew Israelites. Now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you how that's what you just said was not on point. I'm gonna show you how. Give me first Kings eight and forty seven. Because you just said that God's people will be in different remnants, right? Now watch this. They, they was they would confess that they Catholics. Or they'll confess that they may be Buddhist, or they might be Islamic, right? You say yes. Okay, now watch this. We're in reference to religion. Okay, but in reference to religion. Now we're gonna see what the Bible says. Watch this. First Kings chapter eight, verse forty-six. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, 
and deliver them to the enemy. Now we understand that we all been delivered to the enemy. I know you just walked up, brother. So do you understand that your people was delivered to your enemies in slavery? Do you understand that? Now I'm asking a yes or no question. You understand that? That your people was delivered? All right. We, yet if they, I'm sorry, if they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, if they sin it, and thou be angry with them. So the Lord was angry with us. He put us, he punished us. He didn't punish everybody. People have been doing stuff for all, all, all kinds of crap for years, but nobody has been in the type of punishment that our people has been in. Not just the blacks, but the Native Americans and Hispanics. Read. And deliver them to, and deliver them to the enemy. So we was all delivered to our enemies because neither one of those nations have their own country. Neither one of those nations run their own places. They all are under a, uh, a, uh, uh, under, under someone else's country and they have to be servitude to them and pay taxes to them and work for them, right? So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. So we was carrying a captive to our enemies because we were originally from the land of Israel, correct? Read. Far or near, yet if they shall bethink themselves. So everyone will have to remember who they are and then do what? In the land whither they were carried captive. I mean, in, in this time period, in the last days, you remember that you are an Israelite. Right. Bethink meaning you will remember who you are. Read. And repent. Then you're going to repent. So the people that's in the Christian church that say they're Christians and they're just a child of God, you missed the step. It said you got to bethink yourself first. Right. So you got to know that you're an Israelite in order to even become a child of God, really, you have to realize who you are, then you can keep God's commandments properly. Right. Do you understand what that's saying? Because they, you can't jump steps. It's telling you how to repent right there. I, 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 hear, I hear what you're saying. In Romans, Romans it said that, that God has put a veil upon the people's Don't run to Romans I'm when it's, I'm this I'm is telling, simple. I'm Don't telling, run to Romans. I'm telling you, there's a reason. Yeah, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captive. So if you bethink yourself, in the land you were carried captive. Now you're talking about a veil and not. No, I'm not reading a part of the world. I'm telling you, I'm not reading a part of the word. You ran to another part of the word so you can run away from not being an Israelite. That's what you just did. Read. And repent and make supplication unto thee. Then you'll be able to make supplication. He's telling you how to repent. So are you going to go against how God made the order of repentance or are you going to make up your own thing based on your God right here? Because even though you don't think that's your God, in your mind, based on your philosophies and based on how you move, this is your God. If you think everybody in, the, in Islam or in Christianity or can be a child of God, you're wrong, brother. You have to be an Israelite to be a child of God. We in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, we have sinned. So we have to say, we have sinned. Not Islam have sinned. Not, not Buddha have sinned. The Israelites have sinned, brother. Not everybody. Not Christianity have sinned. Man, it, he is a great nation. He is a great nation. No, he's not. He's not. Give me the Romans. Give me the Romans. Then we don't go to Romans 9. Romans 9. Give me the Romans 9. In verse, I think it's 10 or 9. Give me that. Now, we're going to read what you just said. Watch this. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 10. Not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by her father Isaac, for the children... Go, go to verse 7, I believe. Let's go to Abraham. Yeah. Romans 9, verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Just because you're a child of Abraham, read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Because Ishmael was a seed of Abraham, correct? Read. Are they all children? That doesn't mean you're a child of God. That doesn't mean that, read. But in Isaac. Uh, in who? In Isaac. Now, Ishmael. In Isaac. In Isaac, read. Shall thy seed be called? And Isaac, Shall his thy seed be called. That means that so, God has a seed uh -huh. on the earth, but he also has a people in the earth. No. You have to understand what he's saying. Read it from seven again. Are you listening? Are you listening to the, hold on, stop, 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 stop. Are you listening to the Bible right now? Read verse seven again. Romans nine, verse seven. 
Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Just because you, just because you come from Abraham does not mean you're of the seed of the, the child of God. So you understand what it's saying, brother? Are you, you, you with me right now? You listen to the Bible because I'm telling you something. With this brother right now, he got to come out of that Christianity mind that no, 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 all people no, no, can wait, be wait, saved. Wait, 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 That's what it said right now. I'm, 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 I'm reading right through this crap. Read. Neither because they come from the seed of Abraham are they all children. Just because you come from the seed of Abraham don't mean you're a child of God. That's what the Bible said. In the, read it from what, what verse is that again? Verse 7. I mean, what, what book is that? Romans. Romans. That's in the New Testament, right? So people like the ones in the New Testament to say everybody can be saved. The Bible just said that if you, the New Testament just said that if you're not from, just because you're from the child of Abraham don't mean you're a child of God. Read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. That doesn't mean you're a child of God. You understand that, right? Watch this. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Now in Isaac, the seed will be called. And who came from Isaac? Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's who came from that. So the children of Israel, we gonna, it's going to always refer back to Israelites. It's never going to refer to everybody in all nations. He can run all day, run to other scriptures. If the Bible is going to stay the same at the end of the day. You can run to, run to general statements in the Bible, but we're going to always have a precept for your garbage. Read. Verse 8. That is they which are the children of the flesh. They say they are the children of the flesh, meaning they are the children of men. Read. They are not the children of God. I, Israel, Ishmael was not the children of God. That's what the Bible saying. He just said that yeah, everybody else can be children of God, but it's a certain seed, brother. That's that Christianity. If you watch TBN, you will see that on there. That's a seed, brother. Don't, don't fall for that crap. Read that again. That is they which are the children of the flesh. They say they are the children of the flesh, the children of men, the children of the heathen. Read. These are not the children of God. They're not the children of God. Their purpose in life was to serve the Israelites. The children of God. The gods of the earth. We. But the children of the promise. But the children of the promise are who? Are counted for the seed. That's the seed. The seed is talking about Isaac. It's talking about Isaac and, I, and Jacob. Israel. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.